Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Abhirami and I am here to discuss with you about today's topic that is the excitability of a skeletal muscle. So today we will be discussing about the excitability and then the types of stimulus and the advantages of the electrical stimulus and then the qualities of the stimulus that include the intensity and the duration. Okay, so what is the definition of excitability? So excitability is the response of a tissue to irritation or stimulation. Okay, and it is a physical chemical change. What, and what is the definition of a stimulus? So stimulus is uh, the change in the environment and it is defined as the agent which causes a response in an excitable tissue. Okay, so stimulus causes excitability. Okay. Now let's talk about the four types of stimulus. Okay, so the four types of stimulus are the mechanical stimulus, electrical stimulus, thermal stimulus and the chemical stimulus. Okay, so the mechanical stimulus uh, example is pinching. Okay, and electrical stimulus example is giving an electric shock. Thermal stimulus example is uh, putting a heated glass rod uh, in the hand. Okay, and the chemical stimulus example is acids. So in these four types of stimulus, the electrical stimulus is the uh, most advantageous one. So it is mostly used for the experimental purpose because it is it has a lot of advantages. Okay, so what are the advantages of using the electrical stimulus? So the advantages include that the electrical stimulus can be handled very easily and uh, it can be applied only to a certain tissue or over a small area over the skin. Okay. And the electrical stimulus causes the least damage or nil damage to the tissues. Okay, so there is almost zero damage when you use electrical stimulus to the tissues. And uh, the duration to which the electrical stimulus is applied can be, can be adjusted very easily. So likewise, the strength of the electrical stimulus can also be easily controlled. So that is the advantages of the electrical stimulus. Okay, so it can be handled easily and it can be applied to over a small area of the skin to a certain tissue and uh, it causes nil damage to the tissues and the duration the strength of the electrical uh, shock can be adjusted very easily okay so these are the advantages now let's talk about the next thing that is the qualities of the stimulus so the stimulus must have two basic characteristic okay so one is intensity and the other is duration okay so intensity of the stimulus is also known as the strength of the stimulus and in case of electrical stimulus, the intensity is the voltage, okay? And uh, duration of the stimulus is the time to which you apply the stimulus, okay? Now, intensity of the stimulus is divided into five subtypes, okay? So, it has five subtypes and these include the subminimal stimulus, minimal stimulus, submaximal stimulus, maximal stimulus and supramaximal stimulus, okay? So, these are the five types of stimulus. The minimal stimulus is the stimulus which is just sufficient to produce a response in the tissue. So minimal stimulus is like the threshold stimulus. So it is the uh, least stimulus that must be applied to uh, excite a tissue. Okay. And uh, when it comes to duration of the stimulus, then duration depends upon the strength of the stimulus actually. Because uh, if the stimulus is weak, then the duration is longer. And if the stimulus is uh, strong, and the then the duration is uh, shorter. Okay. So they are inversely proportional to each other. And uh, the relationship between the strength of the stimulus and the duration of the stimulus can be plotted in graph and this graph is called a strength duration graph or excitability curve. Okay, so thank you for listening to me. That is the end of this session. And if you like this video, please like, share, subscribe and comment on it. Thank you.